Hello, our citizens. My name is Chris. I'm a brain education instructor from Torrance, California. And I want to thank you for joining me today for the Eight Brocade series. This is our seventh segment. Um, today, we're going to focus on reaching the feet. Very simple, but it's very good for nourishing our kidneys and cleansing our liver. Um, the eight brocades are often used in medical Qigong and a very ancient form, very powerful form. So let's start our practice today. So bring your feet about shoulder width and plant your feet and then gently start to bounce. Good. We're here to activate our energy. So start to bounce your knees a little bit deeper, <sighs> hips a little deeper, exaggerate your shoulders. So gentle vibration is one of the very simple ways to connect mind to body. And then starting to assess my condition where you feel uncomfortable, shake a little bit more. Breathe out through your mouth. Your body may want to twist, may want to lean, may want to sway. Allow your body to release the tension. Where you feel uncomfortable, shake a little stronger and focus a little bit more intensely oh, and release. So we activate the energy. So we have some uh, materials to work with. Good and slowly come to a stop. Now I'd like you to bring your feet very close together, even touching. This is our zero point, our home space. So seal your feet little bend of the knees, a little tuck of the tailbone, a little lift of the sternum, reach the crown for the sky. Let the arms hang with a little space between your torso. Allowing your bones to stack, they get a sense of floating and the muscles relax, a sense of melting. Good. You may feel tiredness and fatigue in different places, so assess your condition right now. As we breathe, breathe in, let your whole body expand, every cell tissue, body, inflate, and as you exhale, let it rinse away, good, inhale fully, exhale completely, one more time, breath in, and out. Go ahead and shift your weight into your left foot. I'm going to mirror for you so you can just follow along. Bring your right foot out about shoulder width apart. Go ahead and press the feet, open the knees, gentle horse stance, tuck the tailbone, lift the sternum. Always our standing cues to align those bones so the muscles can relax. Take a deep breath in, fill in. And out. Good. Deep breath in. and out. Good. So now, the first time I go through this flow, I'd like you to watch me because I'm going to drop my head so you may not see me well. So don't hurt your neck trying to watch me the first time. So first, as we bring our hands to our kidneys, we're going to touch our kidneys here. So we're going to nourish those. As we exhale, we're going to fold down, sweeping our hands down the back of our legs. You can drop your head as much as comfortable. Coming down, as you get to your heels, you're going to wrap your hands around to the front of your toes. Good. And then from here, as we inhale, we're going to come out with straight arms a little bit out in front of you. You can bend your hands and wrists so they're a little bit more strong and come up as tall as you can. We're going to take a bit of a back bend. So looking up in the sky, lift your chin, lift your heart, leaning back as much as you can. All the meridians on the front side of your body, whoo, waking up. I'm holding a little longer this time so you can see and we're going to feel. We'll do one together with a long hold as we exhale, pushing your hands out to the outside. A little active through the arms, coming back to your kidneys. And then we start the flow as we exhale down the back of the legs. Wrapping around your toes, inhaling all the way up. So if you want to join me from here, reaching up for the sky into a back bend, inhaling, hold a little bit. The more you push through your hands, the more you lift your chin, your heart, you feel that front side, tuck your tailbone, more hip flexors, more meridians, wow, good. And then when we exhale, pushing the hands out wide, bringing them back to the kidneys, 
starting to fold and sweeping down. Nourish those kidneys, releasing any heaviness around the heels to the toes, and then inhaling. So now I'd like you to find your breath as you're inhaling, you're rising. As you're exhaling, you open and nourish your kidneys, reaching for your feet. Now the, this flow is a long flow, big movement, so you might have to move faster to match your breath. So very good for opening a lot of the meridians along the torso as we inhale and reach up the front side. As we come to our kidneys and fold forward our backside. So the kidneys are an organ that's a very powerful energy source. It's our engine of the organs. So we want to nourish them so they're very, very happy. A lot of people have some back pain, tension, tightness here. So we tend to have a little trouble around those kidneys. So I want you to find your breath and your flow as appropriate today. Two more times, inhaling up. Exhaling down. Massage the kidneys, sweeping down the meridians, the back of the legs. Inhaling up, expanding the front side. Exhaling down. This time, as you inhale, a little bend in your knees, you just roll yourself back. Now we'll gather energy, inhale, bring your feet back to close for our zero point. Sweeping down. Let the arms hang, stack the feet, little bend in the knees, tuck of the tailbone, lift to the sternum. Feel your new zero point. More full, light, warm, tingling. Recognize all the sensations. Feel the bones stack more. Muscles relaxed more. Take a deep breath in. And out. Breath in and out. Gently rub your palms. Feel the soft arm, palms, the warm palms, and begin to sweep off your body any place you have some tension. So we did a lot of back and hips, so you might need to clean or tap those spaces a little bit more. Good. So recognize the condition as we move these to flow you feel changing in your body and so now check that condition good take a deep breath in and out good and thank you for joining for this seventh session of our eight locates please keep an eye out for the other seven videos uh, for each section and the full flow that will be coming out uh, afterwards if you'd like to experience a full one hour brain education based class please check a local embodied brain center near you if you don't have a local body and brain center, please take a look at the online memberships through Brain Education TV. Thank you.